Hey everyone, Rodev here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to make an NPC that walks around to different points that you can specify by placing parts around the map, and the NPC will move to those parts. So let's get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make this uh, part visible again, it's underground right now. And basically this is what we're going to call a node. And all the nodes are going to be numbered from 1 to infinity, so if you want it, if you want it to move from 1, um, it'll stop there for a certain amount of time, then it's going to move to 2, and then 3, and then 4. And basically that's how this whole thing is going to work. So this first one is called 1. If I run the game, I can show you that the NPC walks straight over there. Um, I did change the name of the part to 1, so the script errored, but all we need to do is change this to uh, 1. Just like this, and it's good. Obviously that script is temporary just for testing, but as you can see the NPC moves there, and the part is actually invisible. So um, there are a few scripts in this, and let's get right into uh, you know creating this for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is create a folder called npcm for uh, npc movement, and then inside there you want to create a script, and we're just going to call this one the run cleanup script. Basically when you run the game it's going to clean up all the parts, so um, this is the script, it's really simple, I'm not going to put it in the description because it's only five lines, really only uh, you know three lines for all of this, there's just two ends. So for iv, I'm just going to move the cursor here so you can copy it. In Paris, script.parent, colon, so colon is shift and the key to the right of the L on your keyboard. Uh, get children with two brackets and then another bracket on the end. Do, if V is the base part, um, then v.transparency equals 1. So that's how this whole script works. And basically, it'll just turn all the parts um, invisible when the game starts. And the next thing you want to do is create your parts. So I'm going to delete this one and create a new one. So we're going to insert a part, a normal part. And for the color, I'm going to go with 0, 0, 0. And then uh, for transparency, we can also leave that as zero because this script will clean it up when the game starts. So none of the players can see it. And then for the part, we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna find size. I like using 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5, comma 0 0.5. And then for position, if you can't see it, change it to 0, uh, 10, 0, and it'll it'll pop up uh, in the center. It'll pop up at the center of the game. And then from there, uh, what we do is we place it wherever we want. It doesn't matter what the height is, the NPC will only move uh, the horizontal, or the X and the Z axis coordinates. So basically, if I move this over here and I change the name to 1, the NPC will move over to that part, as you can see. And uh, basically, for the NPC, I'm just using an Among Us NPC as a joke for now. You can use anything you'd like, and I'll show you how to insert this. So basically, you want to go to the toolbox, type in NPC, or actually, you can type in a model of anything. For example, if I wanted say, oh, let's find something random, like this cube NPC right here. Um, so basically, you swan, the only thing that matters is it has a humanoid, and if it does, then you're good. Um, uh, real quick, some NPCs are a bit more complicated, they have a bunch of scripts and stuff, so I'll show you guys how to clean all those up. For example, the Among Us one did as well. And basically, inside this, you want to delete all the uh, int values that look like they have like a little, you know, a hand or whatever. Um, facing down towards this little white bar. You want to delete all of those and then uh, you can also delete all the scripts but just leave the models if they have parts and uh, leave all the main parts and obviously the humanoid is the most important part. So uh, now that you've done that what you can do is get started with the main script. So first things first I'm gonna create a bunch of nodes. Uh, we're gonna place this one over here and then uh, we're gonna place the next one. I'm just gonna be using uh, four for testing but you guys can insert an infinite amount as this uh, script will go on for how many nodes you have as long as they are all numbered the same way that I'm numbering them right now from uh, 1 all the way down I'm not sure what this is, I don't know why there's a 4 over there, that's weird but we'll just do it again and there we go so this one I'm gonna place over here and also if you don't see the arrows you can go to home and then click move and then uh, click on a part you'll see the arrows this is the move tool um, from there, what we need to do is create the script inside the NPC. So for this script, you want to click on the humanoid of the NPC, click plus, and insert a script. Make sure you don't insert a local or module script, you need a normal script. And inside here, we can name it, I'm going to call it movement, and then we can get started with scripting. So first we can do local folder equals workspace colon wafer child npcm, and uh, basically um, you can create multiple folders for multiple NPCs. Um, basically, I can call this npcm1. If I had another N NPC, I could do the same script, um, just create a different folder, and I'd I could call it npcm2. And then, uh, basically, 
change it uh, over here to npcm2 and that script will run off of that folder but for now I'm just going to use one for the example and then after that what we can do is get started with the actual script so uh, from here what we can do is folder or we can do actually over here just type in get children but in case there are any errors what I'm going to do is local nodes equals folder colon uh, get children okay guys so this is the final script um yeah the other script was kind of bad and uh, this one should work it's basically going to um you know go through all the nodes i'm um, using their actual names this time so uh basically that's how the script's gonna work it's gonna use the names and uh, under the class instance two vector three i forgot to write dot position so yeah this is the script you need to copy and as you can see it's gonna go through all of the nodes one by one it's gonna wait one second per node and it's going to go to the next one, wait one second, go to the next one. And then after that, it'll be done and the NPC will move to all the nodes. And real quick, just to show you, I'm going to change uh, this one to 4 and this one to uh, 1. Okay guys, so real quick, um, it's not using the names right now, but for it to use the names, what we need to do is just go in here and do folder, col uh, right bracket, right... Oh, like, just square brackets and then uh, dot position. There we go. It's going to be going uh, through all the nodes one by one. That was node one. This one's going to be node four. And real quick, if we just go ahead and change up the name. So this one's like three. This one is, uh, let's say four. What we can do is hit run. And now this one's two, so it's gonna go that one next. This one's three and this one's four. So it's gonna go here and then there. And that's basically how this whole uh, node system works. The NPC will go through all the nodes. And other than that guys, um, if this video did help you and it's working in your game, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And other than that guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.